It is time for another adventure with the truck hamper. But it is cold, so let's get inside and chat. <laughs> we need to get the heat rolling. It is so windy. <sighs> Warm up, baby. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the wind in my mic from outside. It's like shaking in here. <laughs> we got like 50 mile per hour gusts going on today. <laughs> So we are heading out tomorrow night for our second big road trip in our truck camper. So if you followed along in my last series that was literally just two weeks ago, um, we were in Arizona, we drove from Colorado, did kind of the northern half of Arizona out of our truck camper one full week. We had so much fun. So now we're gonna be gone for two weeks. And if you did watch that series, you already know where we're heading. But if you didn't, definitely go check it out. And oh, yes, hi Ozzy. <laughs> are you gonna say hi to YouTube? Or are you gonna hide behind me? Okay, anyways, Ozzy's joining us today. We are heading to California. So this starts a whole new series of a truck camper life on our way to California. So we have been to California twice. Um, the last time we went there we flew into LA. We went all the way up to Santa Barbara and then San down to San Diego like that was the stretch we did and then like Hollywood and all the sites in LA. So we've done all that. And then our second time we went to San Francisco and then we also visited Yosemite National Park. So we're kind of exploring the area in between LA and San Fran, the Pacific Coast Highway. We're heading to Big Sur, but we'll be doing multiple stops, of course, between here and there. Um, we're gonna see some national parks we haven't seen, doing some stops in Nevada, and yeah, we have quite a few miles that we'll be taking on on this trip for two weeks. And we're just getting the camper all packed up today, and then we're prepping a bunch of food again. So in our last series, I went over the daily expenses of how much it was for us to live out of here. No eating out, that was our goal, and we did it. And we're gonna have that same goal in mind for this trip but we might be a little more flexible if we see like you know a taco truck or you know something that looks really good on the side of the road or something we might you know do something like that but we're prepping quite a bit of food and we're gonna try again and not to eat out during this trip but we're not gonna hold our standard as high as we did for Arizona. So I hope you guys are ready for another series it's kind of coming back to back here but we're ready to get out of here. <laughs> So there was two modifications we decided to make in our truck camper um, from, you know, having our first road trip in it, really kind of living out of the truck camper. This was like the first time we actually did that. Um, and that was the faucet and removing our microwave. So our last faucet was basically almost like a bathroom faucet. It was very small and the faucet just kind of like was enough to overhang over the sink and it just kind of was not very easy you couldn't like rotate it or move it and it would get water everywhere because the spigot was like right here so we upgraded to this beauty found this on amazon um can move it has a sprayer goes directly over the sink it's wonderful so we're excited to use our new faucet and we also decided we do not need a microwave so we got rid of it and you guys this is one of the biggest cabinets now in our truck camper. It's huge. These are like those big 12 by 12 totes. We got a coffee maker. We got stuff behind the coffee maker. This cabinet is enormous. So yeah, we're so glad we got rid of the microwave. It's definitely nothing we needed. Everything we can do on our stove top. So got creative with the door because obviously you can't buy a matching door for a microwave area. So got creative, um, made this door design and just wanted it to be cute. So kind of given the, the style of the camper as much as I could. Oh, look who it is. Oh, it's windy The up. fam bam. The whole fam bam is here. We got Vince and we got Ozzy. What do you got for Ozzy? Some shrimp. Shrimp? <laughs> Ozzy is so spoiled. Look at this. Now he gets shrimp. <laughs> oh, I was making chowders. <laughs> You know. Yes, Vince is food prepping right now. And I'll show yeah. you what we're food prepping. Um, but one of the things involves shrimp. So whenever we take out shrimp, we give the Ozman some shrimp got two today. He loves it. <laughs> and one other thing we did, um, which wasn't really our own modification, it just kind of happened. <laughs> so in our last series, our bathroom door fell off the track, like breasted the top of the door when we were driving, it just broke off. Um, and we ended up having to put the door under the bed for our trip because whatever. Um, <laughs> and we decided that was the second time that happened. 
we're not having a bathroom door anymore. We really don't need a bathroom door. We need the shower curtain for the shower, but we don't need the door. So I went and got this really cute little shower curtain on Amazon. <laughs> and we say goodbye to our bathroom door. And now we just have a cute shower curtain right here. So kind of matches, you know, see, see what I'm doing there? Matchy, matchy, kind of vibing. Yep. Yep. That's where it's at. <laughs> so one of the food preps is being cooked right now. And we figured since we're going to the coast, we're going to have some clam chowder. <laughs> so it smells, and I've already tasted it. Look at that, you guys. Clam chowder. And we did add some shrimp in there, and that's why we gave out the shrimp, because we had <laughs> the shrimp out. So this will be a clam and shrimp chowder. And then the other night, we already pre-bashed a bunch of shredded chicken tacos. So we're going to have tacos. Um, and then what else is the other thing? Oh, ahi tuna bowls is another one. And we also grilled up a whole bunch of chicken breasts and we're gonna make like buffalo chicken salad or we'll make wraps with it. So we brought salad, wrap. Yeah, we'll have like ham sandwiches. That'll be like a nice compliment with the soup. So, I mean, we'll see. We're gonna have a lot of food. I just hope it all fits in our fridge. <laughs> but tonight we're going to a Lindsay Sterling holiday concert. Um, we've seen her before at Red Rocks here in Colorado and we saw she was coming up here to the Budweiser Center, which is by, um, kind of by Loveland, so not too far from us. So we booked tickets so we could go see her. So I'll see you tomorrow as we get ready to leave for California. It is the next day. It is 3.25 almost. We are leaving at exactly four o'clock and hitting the road. And since tonight we're basically, all we're doing is driving, staying overnight in some BLM land, and then getting up and leaving again tomorrow. That's so tonight's only, that's all we're doing tonight. It's just driving to the other side of Colorado to the Utah, Colorado border basically. So we already like showered. <laughs> we're gonna have our dinner here at home. So we're having ahi tuna bowls. They're so good. And yeah, we basically are just like ready for bed. We're just gonna drive, roll in, sleep, get up, make our way to Utah, Nevada tomorrow. 35 minutes to go. We're on the road. We just reset the trip meter to zero so we can see how many miles we put on on this trip. So Google Maps says we have five hours and 17 minutes of driving tonight. We should be rolling in around 9.30. Um, so this will be interesting because we've never went looking for dispersed campsites at night when it's dark. We always try to get to our campsite before it gets dark so we can kind of scope out the area and kind of see around and whatnot. So um, this will be interesting, but um, it is what it is. It gets dark early in the winter. So anyways, so that's where we're at. And there's already like backups on the highway. So we're being rerouted because there's like a few accidents. So we're kind of taking some back roads. Hopefully it shouldn't back us up too much. But anyways, let's go. <laughs> campsite for the night um, on some BLM land here by Grand Junction. I think we have a really cool site. Um, it kind of like overlooks like an area so I can't wait to see it in the morning because obviously we can't see it right now. It was easy finding a campsite with the headlights on. You can see pretty good so that wasn't really a big issue. Six hours later and we're tired. It's like 10 30 now so we're basically gonna hop in bed and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. <laughs> we survived a very, very, very cold night. I don't know why, but last night felt like the coldest we've ever camped. I don't know what it was. It was warm in the camper, but I just kept getting cold all night, which is, we haven't had that yet, but it was cold last night. <laughs> but let me show you our campsite. We're literally waking up and just rolling because we had like seven hours of driving today. So we're not even making coffee. We're gonna grab coffee on the road. See, I told you we we're gonna be flexible on this trip and today's one of those days. <laughs> but let me show you this. What a sweet area. So these are all numbered sites, dispersed camping. We're at site seven. And look at these views. You kind of like come up on a hill and then look at this. You can see like I-70 down there. This is gorgeous and cold and windy. Yeah, look at this, how cool are these sights? <gasps> Let's go. <laughs> it's 14 degrees right now. Oh 
my gosh. Let's go. <laughs> Are let's you go, a little cold? Let's go to Vegas. Let's go to Vegas. Woohoo. Gosh, it's beautiful though over here. Wow. When we were driving in last night, we're driving past all these rocks and <laughs> stuff like, wow, this looks cool, but we couldn't really see it. Now we get to see it. It's beautiful to drive up here to these sites. <laughs> so last night when we got to camp, the pipes are frozen <laughs> because we have to go through the Rocky Mountains to get basically to anywhere warm <laughs> if you're going west. And um, yeah, we the lowest was like when we were through Vail, it was negative 11. And we figured um, that our pipes were gonna freeze again, and they were. But once we got it all warmed up this morning, we tried everything, and everything's running again. <laughs> to clarify that, we had antifreeze in all the pipes. It's just the very main little pipe. When we fill our water tank, there's like this little pipe that connects to the rest of the pipes. We can't close that pipe off when we fill our water tank, and that's the line that always freezes. Um, but everything else still had antifreeze in it, so we were fine. We weren't worried about it, but um, yeah, so everything's okay. Um, it's just that one little line. But hey, I see the Utah sign. It's right in front of me. <laughs> Hello, Utah. There's a lot of people there this morning. Wow. Look at us. Thanks so much for being with us. <laughs> we have about six and a half hours of driving is what the map is telling us. So hopefully it stays that way. We don't have any, you know, accidents like last night that makes us backed up an extra 25 minutes. Um, but we are literally heading all the way to Nevada. And so today is just driving through Utah, um, which is a gorgeous state. It will definitely be a scenic ride today as we make our way to Nevada. But first we have to find coffee somewhere. We didn't make coffee, I don't know. Kind of debating if we should have made coffee now. Nah. <laughs> okay. So we're in Green River, Utah. There's a little coffee shop here. All right, we're ready to roll. Let's get through Utah. gassing up right now uh, somewhere in Utah and it's like teens all morning our water froze again because <laughs> we were gonna have breakfast but we didn't have no water because everything's froze because it's so cold we need to get to Nevada um, but right next to the gas station is Denny's so I guess we're gonna go to Denny's for breakfast <laughs> if you don't have water pipes you know what do you do oh darn <laughs> what do you think that's pancakes awful. yeah <laughs> Utah, that's where we, we turn the heat on in the camper while we go to Denny's to hopefully help unfreeze the pipes. Here's our breakfast feast. I got the chocolate banana pancakes and then the goods. And Vince got the <coughs> lumberjack feast. Yep. I don't need to eat for a day. <laughs> I know, this is gonna be so filling, but it looks so good. All right, we got full bellies, we got a full tank of gas, and the water's working again. <laughs> It's mostly working. Mostly, it's still a little, little, it's getting there. Okay, all right. We're gonna hope to be heading into warmer temps. Blast, yeah. yeah. We left the heat, as I said, we left the heat running while we're eating breakfast. So it definitely helped. So that's good. Hopefully, it just keeps getting warmer now. So I found this app on my phone called Travel Spend. This is not sponsored or anything. I just literally was looking for an app. So it's a trip expense tracker. And, um, we normally don't track our expenses when we travel. We just, we just go with the flow with whatever it is. <laughs> That's how we've always been. But ever since we got the truck camper, we've been very interested to see how much it is to travel in the truck camper. So we tracked our expenses with our trip to Arizona and it came out to like $1,300 for a week um, with all the gas and everything that we purchased for the week. So I'm tracking it again for California, but like I said, we're being more flexible with like what we're doing, like dining out and coffees and that stuff, as you can see. <laughs> but it's a really cool app. You um, There's different categories and then it tells you like how much you spend daily and then it kind of adds a total spend for the trip. You put in your trip dates and whatnot. So um, if you're one who's curious like how much you're spending on a trip um, and you 
you want to like track your expenses um, definitely check out that app because when we were in Arizona I was just like writing it all down in a notepad and then I just added it all up but this app is way cool because it kind of does all that for you so uh, travel spend highly recommend <laughs> palm tree territory <laughs> so we are in st george utah it's about 150 and it is 45 degrees Woohoo! it's <laughs> perfect if you've been following along you already know we have a shower in our camper and we love having our shower um but when we're on the road and stuff it's just almost if you can get like a really cheap shower somewhere i'd much rather do that than showering in the camper just because it's like more work and then everything you know you have to kind of clean it out when you're done and whatnot we're going to a rec center i think it's like washington rec center so uh we're gonna go check it out it says showers are only a dollar a person this is nice showers you guys look at this can confirm it was only a dollar a person for these showers <laughs> Those were excellent showers. Like, some of the best we've had yet since truck camping. So we have about an hour, 10 minutes left of driving for the day. So we cross into Nevada soon, and then we're boondocking in Nevada tonight. So we're excited to get there. It's about 2.30 right now, which will be perfect. We'll be able to get in early, kind of just sit and chill a little bit before we have dinner. I didn't even realize we drove through Arizona. I thought it was like, right to Nevada from here. This is the truck camper's fourth state. To this campsite so we are camping dispersed camping on the edge of Lake Mead and this is probably yeah one of the best sites we've ever had because it's lakefront literally right there is Lake Mead this is gorgeous <laughs> so we're kind of near Valley of Fire State Park that's where we're going tomorrow and um, yeah there's tons of BLM land out here and we were gonna camp there but then I saw that there's some options along Lake Mead and we're like we gotta go check those out <laughs> wow the BLM land was pretty full like when we were driving through I couldn't believe it was, it was pretty full I'm sure it would have been fine finding a campsite I wasn't worried about that because um, it's a large large area but then we came down here and there's only three of the people I can see from my campsite it's super secluded super quiet this is awesome so uh, yeah we're just gonna sit here watch the sunset and look out to Lake Mead. It's a good day. Cheers from Nevada. <laughs> I set up my tripod back there. I'm gonna try and do a time lapse with this truck as a silhouette because it's kind of hard. I was trying to get like the sunset and Lake Mead, but they're like too far apart. <laughs> so. All right, you guys, I do have to show something because I just noticed this. Look at all over our campsite is seashells. They're everywhere. And at first I'm like, oh, did some kid leave seashells? But no, like they're all over. They're like in the bushes, like everywhere there's seashells. I'm sure you guys have all heard about how low Lake Mead has been. So at one point where I'm standing and currently camping, this was probably Lake Mead. Wow, and look at it now, here we are. That's kind of scary, you guys seeing the aftermath of where water once used to be and that's the current state of it. So we're just going on a little evening walk and there's some really big bull cows here. I'm um, just they're not really close to us but we can see them 
and Vince just saw a coyote. <laughs> so who knows what else we'll see on our little random walk. <laughs> Well, this is dinner, clam chowder, pre-batched, and some ham sandwiches, and we forgot the mayo. Um, so we have ahi, spicy ahi tuna, uh, like mayo for our ahi bowls. So we're we're using that. It's a little How is weird. It's a little good, weird. It's all right. You just roll with it. You guys, we have never seen wild donkeys before. This looks really cool. All the rocks everywhere. I just can't get over this view. It's beautiful. We are officially on the Las Vegas trip. Oh my gosh. We didn't realize day passes were $20 each. Come on, California. You can do better. We're uh, dispersed camping at an old deserted RV park. 